what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is coach Coco and I love volleyball so today we're gonna to be talking about how to choose your volleyball position let's get right into it <music> position is both very fun and exciting. There are a ton of different volleyball positions. Some of them attack at the net, some of them are in the back row, some of them set and control the direction of the game. So how do you even know what position to play if you're new to the sport? Today we're going to talk about the different jobs of each position and how to better choose the position that's best for you. The positions we'll be talking about today are the outside hitter, the middle blocker, the setter, the opposite, the libero, and the defensive specialist. The setter is a specialized position and it is the player that controls the offense of the game. The setter always gets the second ball and sets the ball up for attackers. This position has great skill and setting, so if you want to be a setter, start working on your setting immediately. They also are very good passers because sometimes you can't set the ball overhand. They have really great volleyball mindset and agility. To be a setter, you really need to start working on your communication skills, leadership, and be able to read the court. Navigate that offense. These are also called right side hitters. They are located on the right front hand side of the court and hit from that angle. This position is very similar to the outside hitter. They also can play in the back and the front row, so it's very, very, very good and important to learn how to both hit and pass the ball. It's optimal for them to learn how to serve, set, block, pass, and spike. They can also assist the setter if they call help. So this is the best position to play for lefties. So if you're a lefty, this might be the best position for you. Now the outside. This is personally my favorite position. They hit the ball on the left side of the court, so the left front. They can play front row and back row, so it's very important to learn how to both attack and pass. They have to be an all around skilled player because they have to navigate the entire court. They have to be able to block, pass, spike, serve, and play defense. Outside hitters are critical to the game. They are often set the most, and they are the strongest attackers on the team. So they really need to know how to nail that ball into the ground and read the court. That way they can get kills and score more points. When I first started playing volleyball, I started as a middle blocker. However, as my hitting developed, I moved over to an outside hitter. My fave now. Now here's a position I think a lot of you guys are interested in, and that is the libero or libero. The libero is the position that plays back row and only plays back row. They wear a different color shirt and can enter and exit the game without subbing out. They can replace anyone on the court, however they mainly play for the middle blockers because middle blockers, their only job really is to block the ball. They are the best passers and defense in the court. When I say they get everything up, they get everything up. They also need to know how to set to assist the setter if the setter calls help. So if you want to be a libero, you really need to start working on your agility and you need to work on getting the ball and receiving the ball and getting it to the setter spot. Also, just because the libero is not in the front row doesn't mean they don't need to know how to hit. Start working on all of your skills to be a well-rounded player. Ah, my old friend, the middle blocker. Their main job is to stop the ball from coming over the net. They build a strong block and help block with their other front row teammates. They need to have a good serve, even if they don't serve often, attack and blocking skills. They don't play very much back row defense because the libero will step out for them. However, it is still so important for the middle blocker to learn how to pass, to become a much better and all around player. So even if you are a middle blocker, learn how to pass so that way, like I said, you're well rounded. We want you to be versatile so that way you can play any position you really want to and are able to navigate the court well, no matter the conditions. Now let's talk about a position that's not talked about quite often, which is the DS or the defensive specialist. This player can sub for any player. 
Yes, that even means front row. They can attack from any position. The libero and the DS can be on the court at the same time. They are called the DS because they usually sub for someone who isn't as skilled back row. So they are very strong passers. If your DS is in the front row, she, he or she will have to be a strong blocker, but they usually are used for defense, which means that they are really trying to prevent the ball from coming over the net or protect the ball from hitting the floor. I hope that you liked this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this with someone who needs it, and I'll see you guys next time.